Well, hello there, dear customers and all who cares about code search and code review tools. Welcome to Atlassian webinar and thank you so much guys for joining us today. Uh, recently we released the long-awaited Fishine Crucible 4.0 version and today we are going to talk about it. So let me introduce myself. My name is Stan, I'm a product manager of Fishine Crucible and I will be happy to guide you through all updates and news we have for you today. But first, let's look to our today's plan. Uh, we'll start with the basic overview of Fishine Crucible tools and why it's awesome. Then we are going to cover 4.0 release and all the updates and new features we prepared for you guys. Uh, then a small surprise from our development team. Engineers listed for you top tips and tricks how to code search, code review like a boss. So top hacks from a team right here and right now. And then comes live demo and Q&A session. Uh, I will try to make it in 30 minutes, so make yourself comfortable and enjoy! Some quick housekeeping notes before we jump into the main topics. So your microphones are muted right now, so please use Q&A panel to submit your questions. And once we've done uh, with the presentation, we will try to respond to as many questions as possible within the webinar time limit. And a good news for those who couldn't join us today. Uh, this webinar is recorded and we will make this video available afterwards, so you can refer to it or share it with your team. Few words about our software. Uh, Fisha is a code search and analysis tool. Uh, basically, we like to think about it as the search engine for the code. It allows developers to search across multiple SEMs like Git, SVN or other. It also provides diffuse or code changes powered by analytics. On other hand, Crucible is a powerful peer code review tool. You can create and perform flexible code reviews to make sure your team is delivering high quality software. What is the value behind Fisha in Crucible? First of all, it supports key version control systems. It also gives you a flexibility while performing code reviews and it's integrated with other Atlassian tools like Jira, Bitbucket Server and Bamboo. Let's take a closer look to the key features. Obviously, you can search, track and visualize code changes. Software supports Git, SVN, Mercurial, Perforce and CVS. This means that teams who are using different repo types can use the same tool to collaborate and track changes. Fisher and Crucible are also perfect for the transition period of switching from older version control systems to Git. Crucible gives the teams full control over code review process. This includes roles, workflows and permission for users. In addition, reviews can include pre and post commits. You also have an option to upload additional files that need reviewing. For example, this image shows status and time spent by reviewers. And here is our activity stream, the one and only place you can see all activity related to a particular review. Uh, let's talk about integrations. We have a plenty of them, basically. Let's start with Jira software. Due to this super useful integration, you can view commits, branches and reviews in Jira development panel. You also can view and transition Jira issues from inside Fisha and Crucible. Few words about Bitbucket integration. Administrators can add Bitbucket repos with a single click now. You can also keep repos synced across products. And few words about Bamboo integration. You can view Fishai commits included in your Bamboo builds and easy jump from Bamboo to Fishai. So, here is an example of viewing Jira issue inside our software. You can view issue details and transition workflow states without leaving Fishai in Crucible. And here is a flip side, you can see all related branches, commits and reviews in particular Jira issue. And this image shows the screen when you can add Bitbucket repos to Fisher and Crucible. It's a very fast and simple way to add new repositories. And Bamboo finally, you can view commits under a build summary page here. Okay, that was a brief overview of a key Fisher and Crucible features. And now we are going to talk about 4.0 release. First of all, it's a long-expected user management features. We are communicating with many customers and lots of them requested this feature to be delivered. So we are happy to bring it on. 
From now, single sign-on offering the crowd is available in Fishine Crucible. It is also now consistent across the Atlassian tool stack, so you can easily add user groups from Jira or other Atlassian products to Fishine Crucible in seconds. We also use the same UI other Atlassian products do, so your user management experience is now aligned with the rest of our tools. You can also connect multiple LDAP servers now. Once again, a lot of customers requested this and we are really happy to bring it on with 4.0 version. Directories management is now improved as well and you can connect to multiple user directories. Uh, using global permission screen, you can manage which users can log in and access, access to the instance. And we also know that when you have a limited licenses, it will be useful for you to see the number of available slots. Starting from 4.0, it's possible and available on system information page. I will show it a little bit later during our demonstration section. We also touched blame data and the way it's shown to make your performance and experience better and faster. Blame information is now on demand, so you can have it only when it's really required. Now you have more space to view your code and your pages are loading much faster. And results are now stored in local cache, so no need to load the page again. You can enjoy faster performance, more clean interface with new Fishine Crucible blames. Here are some screenshots of updates we released, but I would suggest to pay more attention for a live demo section, which is coming up really soon. And now it's time for tips and tricks from product team. Okay, so tip number one is action dialogue. Uh, you can use it for a faster navigation through Fisher and Crucible sections. Let me just show you how it works. By simply pressing that button, you will see this action dialog. Here you can choose the section you want to be navigated to. You can also start typing the capital letters to see filtered result and easily end up in a particular section. You can also use uh, shortcuts to mark up files with read and unread. I will show you how to use this feature. Basically, first you need to make sure that in your profile settings, in review settings, you marked as no this field, automark field as red. And when you do this, you can easily, using shortcut Shift and Y, marked file as red and unread. I know that a lot of you guys are leaving files unread, just, just like a flag for you to, to come back to this file later. This tip will help you how to do this faster. We also have an interesting plugin in our marketplace. It allows non-administrators to quickly add new repos to Fishine Crucible. It's available already, you can download it from our marketplace. Uh, the link to this plugin will be in presentation. Feel free to download it. A lot of you also was asking how can I simply copy source code from review. I will show you how to do this. Um, basically here in review mode, if you will just simply select a text the code and press copy, nothing will be copied into your buffer. But if you will do the same with Alt button pressed, you will easily copy the code. So feel free to use it. And the last tip we have for you today is the suggested reviewers. Basically, if you will go to edit details, here you can see a function, a feature to suggest reviewers for a particular review. So here you will see some kind of suggesting users. You can simply add it to review, press done, and you will be done. Cool. So we are pretty done with the first part of our webinar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to try Fishine Crucible for free or to run an upgrade, click the Start Here button on the left. To continue our webinar and to see the live demonstration of new features, click See What's Next button on the bottom right of your screen. And if you want to see Crucible in action, click on the video at the top right of your screen.